I'm sure you've tried some AI image generation tools and thought, why do my images look slightly cheaper than the ones I've seen online? And it's not the tool, but it's your prompts. In this video, I'm gonna show you an incredible database of over 100 professional image prompts that make Google Nano Banana and ChatGPT 4.0 image generate stunning professional grade photos every single time. This is gonna help you elevate your brand and sell more of whatever it is that you're trying to sell online. Let's get to it straight away. I wanna be very clear here. This database is not mine. It's by a gentleman by the name of Jimmy LV. At least that's what his name in GitHub is. And if GitHub scare you, do not worry. This All this is this time is a database containing all the information. And I'll leave the link in the video description below, of course, but all credits to this man himself. He's done the, the hard yards. I'm just making a video about this. But I want to show you why this is such an incredible database. So they've got a hundred cases here and they've made it really, really simple to understand what the image looks like that the prompt in question will generate. For example, 90, case 93 here is to render something in a glass texture. And what makes this database so interesting is that it helps you understand what, what makes a high quality prompt that is repeatable with a lot of images. So you can see here that this is the prompt right below here. So if I place this prompt with an image that I wanna turn into this glass texture, it should turn it into that. And I tried this and because it's a JSON file, which is this format here or a JSON format, it makes it extremely useful and powerful because you can recreate this over and over and over and get the exact same look and feel. I did this before with GPT-40, except I'm more of a Nintendo man as opposed to the PlayStation controller there, but I got the exact same texture and feeling from Nintendo 64 controller and the Super Nintendo 64 controller. So let me show you how to use some of these prompts. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I wanna make sure that we're all in the same level of understanding here. So if I see a prompt or an image that I want to recreate, I look right below and here is the prompt. I'm gonna copy this entire thing. I'm going to go to ChatGPT. I like to just make sure that I have the create image enabled. It should do it automatically, but I don't want to leave anything up to chance. And now here I said, I read the prompt and it says, retexture the image attached based on the JSON file aesthetic below. So here right away, I need to know, I need to understand that, okay, well, I need to place in an image or an object to recreate. And I've downloaded the uh, Nintendo 64 controller and I've done the Super Nintendo 64 as well. So let's get the first one, which is a 64 controller and see if we can recreate the image or the exact aesthetics of that image. But with this controller there, like I did before, and after a couple of minutes, you can see that I got the exact same texture that I wanted, but in a different controller. So really important to understand that this JSON structure now makes everything, gives you so much control of that image. Let's find another example within these 100 uh, images that are very, very useful. Let's say you wanted to make some marketing material for a brand. They've given you a very, very good example here, which I think would work really well as a Facebook ad or a retargeting ad. For example, you can also put this on your website here and they give you the prompt, which is different from before. It's no longer a JSON file, but we know that it's pretty easy to understand the components that we need to change. And it has the beans, so the product with inside the pill, and it's kind of makes a lot of sense here. Now, I've done this exact same thing. I place the prompt in here, except I've changed a couple of components. So I've changed the pill and I've done something very silly here, but this is just to demonstrate how malleable and how customizable these prompts become, but they stay with really good high quality. So I've just said the fast acting happiness uh, capsule pill with their green Zin <laughs> with a transparent bottom printed in the Zin logo. Inside the capsules are numerous Zin nicotine pouches uh, and with the same description text. So now I've got my kind of marketing component if I've wanted to sell Zin nicotine pouches. Silly example, I know, but I want to give you the kind of creative freedom that this thing gives you. And again, if you go through this massive database, you'll see how each prompts are made. And if I want, if you want any single aesthetic, going to go through this and replicate it. Now, before I let you go, I want to show you one really, really powerful thing to understand, which isn't in this repo, 
but you'll be able to recreate very, very strongly. So let's say that there is an image style or something that isn't in here that you want to recreate. Well, one trick that you can do is understand the JSON file format, which they give you. So let's go back to one of the first ones that we did, the glass perspective with the rendering. So we now know that it works so well every single time and you can match the aesthetic with a different item every single time because of this prompt, because it gives you such control of it. So what happens if we reverse engineer this with an image that we like to copy that image or that style all the time? Let me give you an example here. So let's say that I wanted to recreate a lot of these kind of styles, but of this 3D kind of rendered image, something that you'd put in a website, for example, something that you'd put on a website, for example, but you wanted to create different aspects of it. Well, you can do something like this. I'm going to paste the image in there. I'm going to grab and prompt example of that JSON file prompt that keeps the structure so, so well. I'm going to copy this whole thing. I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. And I'm going to say something like using the image JSON, JSON description as a below as a template, create the JSON file description for the attached image, right? And then I'm going to say uh, JSON image and I'm going to paste the prompt that was for the other one, for the 3D image thing. And this might be a little bit tricky to understand, but it's, it's going to make sense in a second. I just want to give you this kind of power tool, if it were, if you will, of kind of being able to recreate these pretty much pixel perfect, but to something else. So great. I've got a JSON file that should recreate this as a generated image. So in that same chat, I'm going to go to create an image and I'm going to paste the JSON file that it gave me. And it should represent this original image quite well. So then because I've got a JSON file that copies the aesthetics, the color and everything of that, I can change different components and I can make a whole library of these images in the same format following the exact same style, but put it in a different situation. And here is the recreated image from the original attached file. So now I can ask it to regenerate another prompt like this, but change it for another scene in an office, for example. So now I'm going to say, okay, with the same file structure as below, I and mean, I just copied the output that it gave me, keep the same style and character and aesthetics. And I want a person looking at a computer screen. So they're holding a key indicating they're doing keyword research for SEO, which is what we focus on in our community. And I just want to see, well, now I can start creating different scenes for other files or images that I want to upload into my computer or for social media, whatever it is that I want. But I understand that because I've got this JSON structure format, I'm going to replicate it in the exact same look, feel and aesthetic. And now you can see that I've got a very similar aesthetic, but with a different scene in it that I can recreate over and over. Now, it's one thing to create one image at a time, but you can also control Nano Banana to be able to generate hundreds of images at a time for your product, for your advertising, for whatever you need. And you don't need a complicated system or a complicated tool. You can actually all do it directly from Google Sheets. And I've created a whole tutorial on how to create hundreds and up to 500 images with Google's Nano Banana using Google Sheets in a tutorial that you can watch right here. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. And I'll answer them as soon as I can. Cheers.